Good morning, it is day 23 on the Camino de Santiago, and we have just left Massimo and Mercedes at Marinas Galachas, Molinas Galachas, um, super wonderful um, Postal Rural, which is basically a, like a bed and breakfast. They were our hosts and they were so, so friendly and made, made you feel like home. Um, you know, up, right up until the last minute, they never asked for their money yet, or you know, the bill, or anything, and they were just so friendly. Um, can't say enough about it. If you're walking the Camino and going through the Variante um, route through Mazarif, you know, come here, come a little further to Via Vente, and uh, stay there. Uh, again, can't recommend it enough. We are headed now to Astorga. We have about a 23 kilometer trip ahead of us. And uh, it's very cool and crisp. It rained all night last night. And um, this morning though, it's clear for the moment. Actually clear all around. And uh, looks like it's gonna be a good day. It's just really cold. So, you know, just uh, trying to keep warm. We'll move a little quickly get the blood flowing and uh, get warmed up that way but at least we didn't have to put on the rain gear there was a uh, wind advisory this morning and uh, that's why it's so cold I think it's like 12 or maybe less I'm not sure I don't know what temperature it is but um, it's cold uh, but we all took pictures this morning with Mercedes and Massimo after a wonderful breakfast, and um, just heading out. You can see the clouds off in the distance. So, uh, and you can see the mountains behind me. That's where we're headed. And uh, we're making our way. Onward and upward. I can't believe we're on the back half of the Camino Frances. And uh, getting closer to Santiago, and, you know, it's one of those things where you start to think about, you know, the finality of it, even though there's still, you know, a good 10 days left, but, you know, out of 40, 35, 40 days, we're into the back half, it's hard to think about not just getting up and walking and doing the routine every day. But um, we'll have to start thinking about that finality coming up. But not before my friend Angelique comes out here and joins me. That'll be another phase in this journey and adventure of mine. And uh, can't wait for that. Can't wait to see you out here, Angelique. And that's about it for now. We'll talk to you later. Ciao. We are crossing over the Rio Arrigo and Hospital, and the bridge here is just fantastic. I mean, the stonework and the arches, I can't even count how many arches there are on this bridge. If you can see that. Pretty incredible engineering work done here. We are leaving Villares del Orbigo. Just had a coffee, con leche, and 
And we are off again on our way. Hill. So, pretty sure our adventures in the flat in the Seta are gone. We're going uphill. Alright. I'll let you go because I'm probably going to get breathing hard here in a few. And it's pretty hot. So my apologies if it's really nice. That was a killer hill. And now, there, like an oasis, is a little stand. So great. Not sure what they have, but it's nice that they do. What do they have here? Hmm? What do they have here? I'm at the uh, parochial, um, the old municipal uh, albergue here in Astorga, and um, just washing my clothes right now. 
and um, looks like there's plenty of sun so I'm not sure if I'm gonna dry them outside or whether I'll hang them or what but um, go from there.